Hi, I'm back in the studio with Crochet Corner. On today's episode, we're going to talk about shells. Crocheted shells are a nice introduction to uh, crochet lace. What you do is work lots of increases into one stitch and then skip an equal number of stitches, which creates a pretty negative space that we like to call lace. I'm going to show you how to make a very simple one row repeat shell pattern. And what we do is at the beginning of the row, uh, after you turn your last row, you're going to do a slip stitch into the first three stitches, which would be like skipping those first three stitches, but you still have to walk over to the first stitch you're going to use, so we slip stitch over to it. Chain three counts as your first double crochet, and we're going to work four more double crochets into that very same stitch. Yarn over, insert, pull up a loop, pull through two, through two, and we'll do that three more times. One, two, and three. Now we're going to chain one and skip the next one, two stitches, skip the next chain, skip the next two stitches, which is a total of five uh, stitches, and we're going to work five double crochets into this, the top of the next shell, starting with one, yarn over, insert, pull up a loop, pull through two, pull through two, that's two, and three, four, and five. And again, we will chain one, skip the next five stitches, which is double crochet, double crochet, chain, double crochet, double crochet. The fifth stitch, or the, the next stitch would be the center stitch of the next shell, and you'll work another five. That, what the row we just did, is what you will repeat throughout this pattern. Very simple one row repeat. I'd like to show you a sim uh, another variation of a shell pattern, and this is what we would call a two row repeat. Because the shells are offset, you'll be working a shell here on this row, but then the row before the shell was on this row. And instead of a chain, what we do is a single crochet in the top of the shell of the previous row, and then five double crochets in the uh, single crochet of the previous row. Okay, let me show you how to make that two row repeat shell. We're going to start with, uh, if you notice, the only thing that's really going to be different between the two rows is that on the row that starts with a shell at the beginning instead of a, a single crochet, it starts with a half shell. So we start with a chain three, which counts as a double crochet, working two more double crochets into that same single crochet on the row below. And then we skip two stitches and single crochet into the third. Then we're going to skip two stitches and work five double crochets into the next single crochet. One, two, three, four, and five. And then we're going to skip the next two stitches and single crochet into the top of the next stitch. Five doubles into the next single crochet. Now this part is going to be pretty much the same on every row. The only difference is going to be that on this row we started with the three double crochet half shell and on the following row we're going to start with a single crochet and then work five double crochets into the next single. So the, the edges alternate and the middle remains the same. Still a fairly easy uh, example of a shell and something you can definitely uh, practice and work on and make really pretty. This uh, pretty shawl over here is made with uh, a sample of the one row repeat shell that we did in the beginning of the demonstration. You can find this pattern on the website. That's today's Crochet Corner. Knitting Daily. Make time for yarn every day. Visit KnittingDailyTV.com for free access to all of the project instructions, ideas, tips, and techniques from this season of Knitting Daily.